Uh, where's my tripod? I need to film this. I don't know where it is though. That's a problem. What's up everybody? So today we are going through the camper and we're gonna show you where things go. We're gonna rearrange things. We're gonna clean it. It's gonna be great. Move that. Yep. Let's get everything out. You know, you always need to carry a 12er of uh, vanilla Coke with you, obviously. I think we are going to start with these guys. Well, honestly, they're already pretty organized. All right, we'll see about those. But for sure, just want to get everything out. Maybe bring it up to the house and go through it and see what we need and what we don't need. We can go from there. Swarm of very angry bees just drove by. Oh, oh boy. Oh, okay. Well. Welcome to the camper. That is absolutely thrashed right now. Gigantic roll of trash bags. So this is what powers all of our um, our strut lights. Those guys, if you can see, cable runs there. I'll do. A, I'll actually do a full video on those because those are. Those are pretty neat, so. That's not good. Hammock straps are no longer stuck. When you date a geologist, rocks end up literally everywhere. So this is the underneath. Um, we're gonna do something about this. It's just right now we can't because we're in quarantine. We are going to build a big drawer that goes under here. It's not gonna be on slides. It's not gonna be on anything. It's just gonna, you know, sit under there. But we're gonna be able to pull it out and maybe have some legs that it can stand on its own out here. We'll have six more feet of storage that we can actually access because we can't access any of this like 90% of the time other than what we can reach. So definitely going to change that up. So we got our Dollar Tree floor mat that got super muddy. So we put it in a trash bag. We got our Kmart camping chairs away. No, these are the Walmart. Walmart camping chairs. Leftover firewood. This guy. This right here is the tote that has all the winch gear. Plus all my little tools, um, like screwdrivers and whatnot. It's basically just uh, various things. Like I got my snatch block, hose clamps, some nines, D-rings, you know. Just the kind of everything else tote.
don't know what that is. It smells like some sort of hydraulic fluid. I don't know. All right, so here is part of the camper that doesn't need to be completely reorganized because it's already organized. So we got, this is the stuff that we use pretty much on the daily at camp. Um, we got our hardcore Unilites, which we use all the time. Um, we got fuel for our heater. We got our heater. Uh, we got these guys, which I got for Christmas. I, they're just, uh, just some little LEDs that work really well as camp perimeter lights. And then under those, we have ratchet set, and then we got some wrenches, duct tape, and then stuff for the awning. So that's pretty much stuff we use every single time we're at camp, plus some tools just in case we break down. And then moving over here, let me set you down. This is all spare parts, kind of random. I mean, distributor cap, we got spare belts, piece of hose, um, oil cap, because anyone who's wheeled with us, uh, we like to lose these. And jack, some rags, a funnel, stuff like that. So that's kind of our spare parts bin. And then moving back here, this, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this is just all closed. Okay, that, this stays open because it's so close to the back, it actually just wedges up against that and stays open. It's the only one that stays open. Yep, just closed. There's a flannel, socks, underwear, the whole thing. So, and then moving upwards, we got, this is all of our toiletries. We keep just extra toiletries from everything, um, like toothbrushes, deodorant, a double of everything in there. And then just some empty storage containers, bags, a rag, just random stuff up in that one. We gotta put our string light back. And then moving on over, the all important bottle opener. And then that is actually my yank strap. I should probably relocate that. And then a bag, and then a bag full of rags. Lots of rags. Really, really nice to have. Oh, little AutoZone light. Kind of forgot about that. And then, yeah, that is it for up top. Kind of annoying that our string lights depend on it, but whatever. Stone, okay. We got our homemade curtains. And then this little cubby, we'll see what goes there. I'm not sure what's gonna go there yet. smoothly but not fit very well. well it will fit it's just gonna be a struggle <laughs> so what i think has happened that corner is pushed that way so now middle board i don't know is back together. This got shifted forward and then there's a lip right in front of the bed where that loop is, that tie down loop, uh, that it was caught on so it was pushed. Uh, oh, I forgot I was zoomed in that way. And uh, yeah, so repositioned it, we're good to go. Also found an old bungee. Okay, so now this is the stuff that was loose in the camper. It's a lot of bull crap. 
all my cutting tools, my plethora of cutting tools, I really got to figure out a better spot for it. I mean, I don't want to be the guy who puts it all on the outside, but at the same time, it's like it floats around in there and then it's just, uh, so I don't know. We'll see. We got our tried and true Coleman propane that goes at the very back and then our tried and true Walmart pergola fits in there a very specific way something like that and then beyond that we got the ammo can that's just got some random bull crap in it fits in there perfectly most important thing when camping if you got slippers you're good you could have fallen off a hundred foot cliff and be half dead but if you got slippers you're fine That's what those are gonna go right there and also keep all of my books in place These are our mattresses. And to explain our mattresses in a nutshell, this is Home Depot furniture cushion foam. It's sold in six foot strips, just like these. Um, one of these was very slightly cut. You could see a little bit of a gap there on a table saw so that they fit blush. This goes here and then it turns into a full size bed. So this guy is our everything tote. Anything that doesn't have a home inside the camper has a home here. So we got just extra batteries and really whatever else we could fit inside there. And here we got our spice cabinet and everything else. I mean, all of our pots, utensils, and then just some uh, non-perishables go in here as well. Then we got our knife kit, ceramic knives. Fell in love with those guys. And then, yeah, that's uh, that's our gear tote. And then there's a cooler and let's go ahead and put all this away. All right, so basically pillows get stuffed in this corner. As you can see here, and then Next is all the other bedding. All right, so this is pretty much our travel setup. We got the gear tote back there. We got the cooler. We got the stove, bed. All our bedding stuff is all on this side and all our gear stuff is all on this side. And under there is going to be all axes, winch gear, kind of the stuff you need but not every day. And then the chairs and our lantern. And then we got our coffee percolator behind there. Just kind of random stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much how we go down the road. Um, depending on where we're going, we may have a folding Costco table right here. And this is also where, you know, like our duffel bags and backpacks go. So there you have it. That's how we roll down the highway.